Hello and welcome to our lecture 31 on automation. Today I'm going to be talking about four things, okay? Cost, speed, scalability, and flexibility. And we're going to look at Zapier and N at N on these matrix. Uh, cost, speed, scalability, and flexibility, right? So, so both of these are very powerful automation platforms that dominate, you know, very different corners of the workflow world. Zapier, the friendly face of uh, face of automation, and, 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 and the power tool for builders, right? So my goal today is to help you understand the trade-offs between uh, these tools, and more importantly, help you choose the right one, depending on, on your use case, right? Team size, technical confidence, and, and others. So let's, uh, first, let's talk about cost, all right? Let's talk dollars. Uh, we'll talk about dollars, <laughs> delays, distributed workflows, and how these platforms stack up when it comes to scaling your business without breaking your bank or your brain, right? So you don't want to put in too much uh, brain power or, or, or the dollars in it, right? So uh, let's start with what, uh, you know, what's often the deal breaker or deal maker, right? Uh, is cost, budget, right? If, if you can afford it. Uh, so Zapier of offers a free tier, but it's very limited, just 100 tasks per month and on, on only uh, single step apps, zaps, right? If you want a multi-step workflow, uh, you know, filters and premium app integrations, you'll need to you'll need to move to one of the uh, one of their paid uh, paid tiers. Uh, prices start around nineteen dollar a month, but you know, serious automation quickly puts you in forty nine dollars to ninety nine dollars a month range. Okay. On the other hand, N at N is op open source, right? Which means uh, the core platform is free. You can you can self-host it on your own server or even on a on a Raspberry Pi. Okay, that's zero dollars in licensing costs, right? Just hosting and maintenance. However, and it and offers uh, also offers a cloud cloud version, right? Uh, starting at twenty dollars a month. It's still, the big difference is that you only pay for executions and you can scale a hosting based on. On, on many workflows, uh, you know, how many workflows you, you run, right? Not just how many tasks. So here's a, you know, uh, here's a basic scenario. If you're running lightweight automations with few monthly tasks, Zapier might work out uh, out of the box, right? But once you scale, uh, once you scale uh, to thousands of tasks or need complex branching, uh, Zapier becomes costly, right? While N at N remains flexible and economical, if you're comfortable with some tech setup, right? So you need to you need to know technology. This is not a no-code situation, right? So in terms of cost, Zapier wins on uh, on ease of entry, right? For non-tech users, but N at N dominates long-term affordability, especially at scale. All right, next is speed. How fast do your automation trigger, right? Uh, Zapier, uh, you know, relies on polling. It, it checks your app every one to 15 minutes to see if a new uh, if a new event happened. Even on this, you know, even on this higher, uh, even on their higher tier plan, polling can still cost delays. Uh, some apps in Zapier support instant triggers uh, via webhooks but it's not consistent across the board, right? N at N, by contrast, supports real-time webhooks by default, right? Uh, you, can, you can set a, a webhook to trigger workflow instantly when, uh, when an action happens, when something happens, right? Like a pay payment goes through or a, you know, a webhook fires from an app, right? So some, something, so if I'm using an application that has an automation built in or, you know, I have a trigger if I, once I press that button, uh, that, could, that could trigger an automation, right? So in a real time, it could be real time as well. All right, so 
the bottom line is that you know some this you know this makes n at n ideal for time sensitive workflows okay like triggering you know sms alerts or processing payments or sending customer emails based on activity right bottom line if you if your trust if your automation needs instant feedback n at n is your friend uh zapier is good for for eventually consistent tasks but not great for anything where seconds matter all right, with that said, let's look at scalability. Yeah. Let's talk about scalability a little bit, all right? So Zapier has clear boundaries, right? Every task you run counts against your monthly quota. You have a task cap, uh, a storage cap, and even, even execution time limits. So complex logic quickly burns through the task. For example, Looping through a list of 100 rows, right, equals 100 tasks. Ouch. Okay. So in contrast, NNN offers unlimited workflows and execution, especially in a self-hosted environment. You can even build uh, looping logic, parallel branches, and custom scripts without worrying about burning through your task limits. Okay. So more importantly, you can scale N and N horizontally, running multiple instances behind a load balancer. Uh, this gives you this gives you enterprise grade scalability on your own terms, right? So if you are building for a you know if you're building for a SaaS product, uh, internal tooling, or client facing automation, N and N gives you full control of the scale. Zapier is better for solo entrepreneurs, uh, marketing teams, and business manager managers who need quick automation with no DevOps overheads. All right, so moving to flexibility. So now, you know, the, the final factor, flexibility, right? This is where N at N really shines. Zapier, as I've been saying all along, is great for plug and play automation. I love the tool and I have recorded a lot of videos about Zapier as well. But when you want to branch, filter, loop, code, or work with API calls, things get tricky, okay? Uh, N at N is a, is a developer's playground. You can write custom JavaScript in the function node, uh, handle multiple paths using if nodes, and, and, and set modify nodes to shape your data any way you like. And, and here is, here's something cool. Okay, and it lets you chain workflows together, run them or conditionally, right? And even call external APIs directly without needing a paid webhooks API app. So that, that's really uh, great, right? If, you, if, you're, if your business is going to grow as well. So in contrast, Zapier's strength is in its library of app integration. They have over 7,000 apps supported, right? And the ease of creating automations without writing a single line of code, I mean, come on, that's really amazing. So here's, here's a summary. Uh, Zapier equals no code, fast deployment, but limited, limited when logic gets complex, okay? And at end, low code, High flexibility, perfect for anything customer or API based, but you need to be a little bit tech savvy. All right. So let's wrap our conversation and let's, you know, let's recap what we discussed today, right? We talked about costs. So we looked at Zapier is easier to start and it and is better for scale. We talked about a speed. Zapier is sometimes slow, and it is real time. A scalability, Zapier is, has fixed ceilings, and it, and it has none, okay? Especially in the self-hosting mode. Flexibility, Zapier is, is beginner friendly, and it and is limitless for power users. So the choice between Zapier and NNN is not about which tool is better. I, I actually think they're both great, okay? It's about which one is better for your needs, okay? So if you are starting out, Zapier gives you speed and simplicity. 
if you're building complex automation or need cost-effective scale, and it and is the future, okay? And here is the secret. Many pros, including myself, use both tools together, okay? Which is exactly what we, we you know, you, I would re recommend that you go and explore. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next session.